viewers, welcome to the first ever travel news of our travel TV channel with me, Francis Luko. In our headlines, the 25th anniversary of the Rwandan genocide has been commemorated at the Kigali Genocide Memorial Museum where more than 2,500 victims were buried. The festival of arts and culture is underway at the opaque city of Limbe. A suspected rhino poacher has been killed by elephants and eaten by lions at the Kruger National Park in South Africa. Those were the headlines. More and developments of these stories will be yours. I will be right back. The 25th anniversary of the Rwandan genocide has been commemorated at the Kigali Genocide Memorial Museum, where more than 2,500 victims were buried, presiding at the Sunday's event marking the 25th anniversary of the genocide that killed more than 1 million people. Rwanda President Paul Gagame, who led the rebel force that ended the slaughter, lit a remembrance flame in the capital, Kigali. The 61-year-old president, who has led the country since 2000, delivered a speech at the Kigali Convention Center. They said the resilience and bravery of the genocide survivors represented the Rwandan character in its purest form. He added that the fighting spirit is alive and that what happened in Rwanda will never happen again. Rwanda will mourn for 100 days, the time it took in 1994 for about a tenth of the country to be massacred. All roads lead to the opaque city of Limbe, where the ongoing festival of culture and arts, Festac, is taking place. The not-to-miss cultural and crowd-pulling jamboree is expected to bring more than 20,000 visitors to the town of Friendship. In the following report, Kadi Robin Andins now gives us the highlights of what Festac is all about. The Festival of Arts and Culture Festac Limbe is an opportunity for artists to showcase their know-how in the sector of arts and culture. The most spectacular aspect of the cultural jamboree is its inclusive nature as it provides room for exhibitions. Nationals and international partners of FESTAC have tripped in and created an ambience that enhances the international dimension of culture. Countries like Nigeria, Togo, Benin, have joined Cameroon in competitive activities like Kenu Race, the Great Marathon, traditional dances, talk of war and traditional wrestling. Touristic sites of Limbe have not gone unnoticed, such as the Afred Seka Monument, the Bakingli Lava Flow Village, the Slave Trade Village, the Botanical Garden and the Limbe Zoo. A suspected rhino poacher has been killed by an elephant and eaten by lions at the Kruger National Park in South Africa. Accomplice poachers told the victim's family that they had been killed by an elephant last Tuesday. A search party struggled to find the body but eventually found a human skull and a pair of trousers on Thursday. The managing director of the park extended his condolence to his family and warned that entering Kruger National Park illegally is unwise. It holds many dangers and this incident is evidence of that, he said. American Airlines will cancel about 90 flights a day through June feet because of the Boeing 737 MAX grounding. Affected customers will be given options for another flight. An American tourist and her tourist guide who were abducted in Uganda's Queen Elizabeth National Park last Tuesday have been rescued by security forces. The two were kidnapped at gunpoint and a ransom of $500,000 was demanded. Thank you for watching. Travel news comes up every Monday to Friday on Travel TV channels. Stay tuned to programs of our Travel TV channel.